Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to laser cut paper. It honestly blows my mind that the same laser machine that cut one inch thick MDF can also cut paper thin paper. Uh, this here is just regular printer paper that everybody has in their printers. And I just want to give you an idea of the scale and the, and the accuracy of the machine. So the, here we have a supersized version of this because this is too hard to see on the video. But you can see that they are essentially identical in every way. Now the precision of the laser is second to none, which means that every one that we do is exactly the same as the previous one if that's what your design spec was. Now this is very thin paper. We can move up to, let's say, cardboard. And MDF is basically glorified harder cardboard. Um, all the way up the spectrum to much harder materials like steel if you wanted it to be. Just to show you the finished sheet, this is actually the sheet of paper that I just laser cut with the laser. And you can see everything is nice and clean. You can see all of them are totally identical in every way. And again, that's on purpose because that's what the customer will be using them for. And the supersized version of it, as you can see here, fit right here. And there's less than a fraction of a millimeter or a fraction of a fraction of an inch of material removed. The reason for that is because the laser generally cuts, it's based on dwell time. So if it stays somewhere longer, it goes deeper. But with regular paper, it just flies right through it, no problem at all. And you might be wondering what are other idea, ideas and shapes and sizes we could do. So here is a little dragon I cut out. And here is the inside part. And of course the inside fits in this here. Pretty close, there we go. That's where it comes from. And if you're wondering about the smoke, the front is pretty clean. Uh, the back definitely has a little bit of smoke to it. Do a, see if we get a close up. There you go. So of course there's a bit of smoke just from the paper, but otherwise the process is very clean. the moon shape and the inside moon and it fits right in here like this. So paper is actually a really good material to use for a stencil. If you need something quick and dirty and just do two or three stencils with spray paint, this is totally fine. Uh, generally move to larger materials or heavier, thicker materials because if they got to spray paint something a hundred times, this is just too flimsy. Or if they got to use fire actually like a torch to burn a pallet then we do them out of stainless steel. To give you another idea, here's two campfires here. And again, they're identical in every way. I didn't line them perfectly when I was laser cutting them uh, sheet wise, but you can see that in every way, they're completely identical. So I just imagine the amount of time that it would take to actually just do this, much less something like this here by hand. It actually drives you nuts. So if you're looking for custom stencils or custom paperwork, contact me at cncri.com and we'll make it for you. 